Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what is reasonable force under Stand Your Ground? The question isn't really what is reasonable force. The question that needs to be asked is, would a reasonable person, John or Jane Q. Citizen, had he or she been standing in your shoes at that moment, had he or she faced what you faced and knew what you knew, would he or she have made the same decision to use the same force that you chose to use at the time that you used it? Now, I know what I just said is convoluted, and I'm going to try and break it down for you. More simply put, how about this for a question? Under the circumstances, did you act reasonably? Throw in a caveat, you don't have to retreat. The answer to that question comes from a judge. After a hearing, and after considering and weighing evidence that's put forth from both sides. I can't list for you all of the what is reasonable situations that exist in the world, but I can give you a few examples of what would clearly be unreasonable. You would not be allowed to use a weapon against somebody who merely insulted you or your mother or your girlfriend or your sister or your cousin. You can't shoot someone because their dog takes a crap on your lawn. You can't take a baseball bat to somebody because they happen to be sitting on the hood of your car. Again, your use of force must be a reasonable response to either an act or a threat of violence against you, another, or your property. I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.